yet again your project is a solo project why make it solo I think a situation like that is the ultimate test of a song which for me is only strong enough if, if it can be stripped down to its very bare naked form and still stand its ground so in a way that's exactly what it was about it's about taking your clothes off being in front of the mirror and trying to find out if you're okay with what you see in the See the light of my eyes. Oh, oh, oh. 
kind of changes the industry has gone through this past decade or these past decades um, hasn't made it a lot easier either. So um, you want to find out why you're doing this real bad if you want to keep doing it. And uh, my answer was um, uh, a childhood dream in a way, you can say. I realized that I started off doing this because I want to be on stage and sing for people with an out of tune guitar or something. That's what I dreamt of when I was a kid. But um, then uh, I ended up doing all these different sort of things uh, to make a living as a musician. Because uh, dreaming and try, you know the process of actually making them come true can all, can sometimes be very different processes, and uh, I ended up doing this. This is what I do for a living. I play keyboards for other people. I produce. I compose. And um, um, at some point, I had to re had to find a way to get the two personalities together. The guy who wanted to be on stage and sing and tell stories and the guy who spent the past decade hanging out in cellars and uh, just being a complete nerd. sing you have no doubts about how deeper roots lie in Indian classical music but um, her somewhat global identity gives her an, a different take on how she uses her voice in a, on a more larger scale And it's 
there someone else? Yeah, Jivraj Singh. Uh, this guy is probably one of uh, the most phenomenal musicians I've had the chance to work with for uh, since a very long time. He's easily one of India's best drummers, and that's that's a tall claim to make, I know, but I, I mean it. It's a large country. It's a large country, and it's a country of rhythm, so being one of India's best drummers is not a very easy thing to accomplish. Uh, without making this very bombastic. But he also plays drums for two of India's most cutting-edge bands, which are Kendra and Pink Noise, which are cool. But uh, if that weren't enough, he's also uh, an amazing, amazingly talented visual artist, and uh, 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 he does a lot of, he does live electronics and turntables on, on my gig here, which also speaks for his musicians for his artist's heart you know i mean this is a guy who can really play the hell out of a drum kit but he decided to just leave all at home and come on stage just to live electronics and turntables because he thought it was more um, con congruent to the stuff we were doing